Welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about budgeting. And before you run off, you all scared about the numbers that might come out. This is uh, actually pretty simple, but it's going to make a huge world of difference in your life. Um, what it simply means is that you have money coming in from whatever source of income you have, and you have money going out, expenses, um, lifestyles, whatever. It, we all have you know expenses going out. And what the budget is, is simply you're going to be writing everything down, and I do mean everything. Um, all your Netflix, all your Amazon Prime, um, you, you put it into blocks like you want to start with the most obvious stuff first, like rent, food, gas, uh, your subscriptions, credit card payments. Um, just keep going until you cannot find a single thing left to write down. And if you're a little confused, then head to your online statements and look up what you're spending on average in a month. Check those transactions, how many times you visit Starbucks. You, know, you can still visit Starbucks, but remember that every time you visit there, you're probably spending about 3 to $6 on average, maybe even more. So you're going to want to like keep all track of this because it's very important. So you have money coming in and you have money going out. The difference between the two is what you get to keep. That's what really matters. Why is it that like millionaires, f famous rich people, end up filing for bankruptcy? I mean, they'll give you a slew of reasons, you know, crooked tax guys, um, my accountant did me wrong, uh, you know, people backstabbed me, but, you know, at the core of it is really, they had maybe a million, you know, five million dollars coming in, and they spent, you know, everything but 20 bucks, or they spent five million fifty thousand, and while you'd be like, I'd love to have five million they are pulling in money like this and they still broke they're still filing for bankruptcy it's like what what happened what happened is they didn't put a budget together they didn't keep to what they wrote down if they wrote down anything at all so that's what we're talking about here write everything down rent food gas if you have to estimate something overestimate it until you can get more accurate numbers Things happen, and you need to be prepared for them. So you want you know, reserves, of course, but this is about teaching you how to get those reserves in the first place. Living paycheck to paycheck sucks. I did it for a long time. I would work 100 hours a week and wonder what's going on. Um, where's my money at? And, of course, I could look around uh, now and see, wait a second, it's in that uh, e box from eBay right there. There's some Amazon Prime right over there. Um... What about all these takeout dishes all over the place? Well, there's my money. You know, but at the time it was just like, where's my money? I don't understand. It must be the government's fault. It must be, someone must be doing me dirty. But no, it was me doing me dirty because I wasn't taking it seriously. And I'm not saying ever that you can't have what you want. If you want to get some takeout, you get some takeout. If you want to go to Starbucks, go get some Starbucks. The only thing I'm saying is that you need to widen the gap between what's coming in and what's coming out or what's going out and the only way to really do that is to write everything down once you have it all down you can actually go one by one start targeting stuff so that you can find better options just recently I had some insurance and while I was spending ninety dollars a month on comprehensive I knew I could do better than that so I searched around a little bit and um, I came to a place that will give me like a uh, same coverage um, for sixty-two dollars a month if I paid it all up front. Which, because of doing the things I'm talking about, I can. And it doesn't matter if you work minimum wage jobs because I've worked minimum wage jobs for ages. And regardless of it, I still was able to put away crazy amounts of money. Um, people around me, uh, when they realized how much I had, were like, "How?" How is this possible? You're making a minimum wage. What the hell is going on? But it's very simple. Widen the gap between what's coming in and what's going out. And then stockpile it away. Store it away. At least up to a certain amount. And then go out for your Starbucks once a week. Go out every other week. If you want to go hang out with friends, you know, do so. And if you know money is still an issue, you're still getting used to this, Go have a nice day at the park. Go out to the beach. You know, not everything has to be costing something. So I will see you on the next video. And um, go ahead and 
click down below to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Also, comment in the uh, comment section um, what videos you would specifically like me to do for you, and I will get that taken care of. So, welcome to the channel, and I will see you on the next one. And remember, you do have control over this stuff. You can make a difference. If I can do it, you can definitely do it too.